Hello and welcome to Farmer's Kitchen. You hear the sad puppy in the background? I hear a sad puppy. What's the matter with Moses? He's sad right now. He escaped. <laughs> you know, Pyrenees, they kind of like to get out and go. Mm -hmm. And so we had to put him in a smaller pen because he's, we got to kind of fatten him up. Yeah. So he can't get through the woven wire fence. He, he learned to go through. He's not happy right now. No, he's not. Right but we'll let him out a little bit. It's beautiful out. It's nice. A lot of things are blooming. Mm -hmm. We took advantage of what I call a seasonal jelly. We made dandelion jelly. It's delicious. delicious. It's got its own taste. Mm -hmm. There are all kinds of things you can make spring jelly out of. Probably the most common are the violet mm -hmm. and the red bud. Right. And we made all three, and each one has a very subtle, distinct flavor. It does. The reason I call it a seasonal jelly is we are not pressure canning these. Mm -hmm. These are quickly put into the jar, into the refrigerator, right. to be used in two or three weeks. And if you want to give them a little longer life, put them in the freezer. Or I've been giving them away. Yeah, too. In several months. <laughs> but it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It it's really is. It's that time of the year. So in a little while, we're gonna take a little walk in the woods, okay. identify some plants, some edible, some not, just a naturalist notebook, okay. if you will. I started that, gosh, what, 20 some years ago. Wow. Way back when, we're gonna reinvigorate that. Okay, sounds interesting. But first, you know, I always thought when I'm mowing in front of the sheep, mm -hmm. they look at me like, <laughs> you're wasting all that, all that good food. food. That's right. So sheep, incredibly, right. are easy to herd. Yes, they are just like the old proverb. So we're gonna bring them up into the yard and let them mow it, pre-mow yes. it, before Good I idea. actually hit it with a lawnmower. Good idea. Let them get that <laughs> wonderful sustenance out of that grass. So first thing we're gonna to do today is turn the sheep loose. Sounds like fun. All right, let's get them. It's a two-person operation. That's right. I got my Bo Peep staff, my buddy Benji got me this. I love that. We're gonna open this gate now the girls have a routine. They know where they're going, mm -hmm. but you know, I use this, I don't crack them in the head or anything, but all I got to do is kind of like let them know, you know, kind of bump them in the yeah. tail and then move along. Look, they're ready for the routine. They know. They're going to go up and pre-mow. That's right. So when it comes time to get back in, now they're, they're, we're letting them out right in the open. Right. So what's the trick to get them back in, Nikki? They love corn. They will trample me for corn to get shake in. It, shake a bucket. That's right. And they'll, they'll be... go back in. Now today they'll end up in Arkansas. <laughs> ready girls? Go. Now they're all free, wide open. Every now and then they like to run and go crazy. They are free, but would they relinquish their freedom for anything? For a bucket of gold or corn? That's the only way you can manage these critters. If it wasn't for corn or sweet feed, look at them. Totally free, totally loose, totally wild. Watch what happens when she beats the bottom of that bucket. Hey girls. Go, go, go. And just like that, they have been bribed. That's why they call them sheep. Now we're gonna make another small batch of our seasonal jelly. Yeah. And again, this is not to keep around through Christmas. Right. Now if you wanted to pressure, can it, that'd be a whole different story. Yeah. This is just a quick and easy batch for the next couple weeks and boom, we're done. Right. All right, Mrs. Farmer, we had a late frost and it just about ruined this tree, but we got plenty of trees right down the hollow that are good to go. So we're gonna take about a cup. Yeah, need one cup. We need one cup and we're good to go. Yes. Small batch. Now these are good to eat right off the tree. They really are. They really have a nutty, even sweet taste. All right, we've been freezer diving. We have. And we found lots of good stuff in there. What did we find? Flank steak. Ah. And we had a big bunch of broccoli. Yes, we did. Oh, let's think. Hmm, beef and broccoli. And I got rice. And we got rice. That'd be perfect. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Who are you gonna call? This was so good that we had this last night. We did. 
you can make a dish like this in your own home and it's going to be as good as anything you can get in the restaurant. And you did it so quick. I was starving within an hour. It is I had quick. It's yes. really yes. quick. We're going to do a quick marinade. We're going to set this aside. Then you're going to do your red bud jelly. Mm -hmm. Now, something we keep around here is we keep hoisin sauce, mm -hmm. oyster sauce. Yes. We also have some Bangkok peanut sauce, which has got a great, oh, yeah. great flavor and a little bit of heat, some ginger. We keep fish sauce. Now this sounds strange, but man, these flavors are so subtle and so wonderful in certain things. That's some things that we keep around here. Obviously soy sauce and some dry sherry, mm -hmm. some things like that. Sesame oil that is smells, a necessity. Oh, it smells so you delicious. You smell it right now. Yeah, I smell it. So I'm gonna make a quick marinade and let that set for about a half hour while she makes her red bud jelly, which yeah. is really pretty much the same thing as the dandelion jelly and the violet jelly, but each one has their own particular taste. It's it very does. subtle. The dandelion jelly is very Honey-ish. It is. That's good. It is. We could actually put some of that in place of honey in this recipe. You could. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our flank steak. We're going to cut thin slices against the grain. Now we had this last night and it was very tender. It was it's a good cut. Delicious. So I'm just going to cut this like so and then I'm going to cut these up into smaller pieces. But again, flank steak against the grain. Because you think the grain is going this way. So you don't want to work against that. You've already got this wonderful meat. You're this doing the, perfect. Oh, it's perfect. And there's what we have. Then I'm just going to cut these pieces into, you know, you think about a bite-sized piece, which yeah. you want. All right, you could use beef tips, but flank steak, to me, works really good oh, for yeah. this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my meat. I'm just going to pop it in this bowl. And I'm not measuring this, but I'm guessing as far as ingredients. I'm going to start with my oyster sauce, at least three tablespoons. And let's come back with some soy for our salt. I'd say at least a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half for that. A little bit of sesame oil, just a little bit of honey. I like sweet. honey. Just a little bit of dry sherry, a little bit, just for that bite. That smells good already, just oh, yeah, the, what you're does. doing. Now I'm gonna mix this up real good. And there's so many ways you could do this. You could start with your broccoli and set it aside. There's so many ways of thinking about this. Then we'll put my cornstarch in. Okay, that's probably, I don't know, I didn't use a whole tablespoon, a little over a half a tablespoon. Let that get all nice and I coin it in there and set that aside. And you're gonna make your red bud jelly. Yeah. Again, one of our seasonal jellies, they don't last forever. In fact, we sit on having with a snack. Sometimes she'll take some cream cheese and pretzels. Oh, you do that my, tonight. my, my. All right, let's set this out of the way. You know, sometimes you get something that kind of wakes you up. Right. A couple weeks ago, a lady posted something. We had this on last week's show. Mm -hmm. She said, hey, you know, not everybody has been cooking their whole life. She said, I right. wasn't raised in the Walton's house. That's right. And it really stuck home. A lot of the stuff that we do that we think is so simple mm -hmm. that we, we gloss over, we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to show you some sides. If you already know how to do it, that's great. But a lot of people out there are telling us, show some simple stuff right. on the side. So we're going we're gonna to do that as well. Now, as this warms up, we're going to take a walk in the woods real quick, identify some plants. Some mm -hmm. are medical, but some of them are just spring plants that you might walk by and say, hey, I know what that is, or do I? Mm -hmm. So we're going to identify some plants on this week's Naturalist Notebook. So when you walk through the woods, you look down, you look around, and you see a plant. A lot of times you don't really pay that much attention to it. But today let's look at some things that you might have seen and you might recognize. So I think one of the most beautiful plants we see this time of year is Trillium. Now a lot of people call this toad shade, but this is just the local Trillium that we have here growing in our woods. It's got a dark flower on it and it just doesn't smell real good. The next thing I came upon was some wild phlox. Pretty little flower you see growing around the woods on occasion. And the next very distinctive plant is a cut leaf toothwort. And if you ever get into these, you'll know it really quick. This is your saw green briar. And if you get into these thorns, you're not gonna like it. And here's what Nikki picked for one of her jellies, which is a common blue violet. They're just about everywhere. And a lot of times we identify these as onions. People call them onion grass, all kinds of stuff, but it's really a wild garlic. And that's a species of onion. And it looks just like what 
you grow in a garden and you can use it for an edible plant. Here is some garlic mustard. This is an edible plant. You can eat garlic mustard. You can use the leaves, they're good for you, full of vitamins. Now, in my woods, I saw a bunch of these. For those in Ohio, this is a buckeye tree. And we actually found a yellow violet up in the woods as well. Here's a picture of that. Here's an invasive species called thistle. This looks like what they call bull thistle, and we have quite a bit of that around here. This is your common blackberry. We have these everywhere. This fall, hopefully, we will gather some of those up and make some jelly. This is a may apple. A lot of times you'll see big stands of these. Every part of this is poisonous, so do not attempt to eat any part of this. Now, when the plant comes out with this little fruit, only when it's really, really ripe is it edible. But I kind of stay away from those. That's a may apple. And that was our little walk in the woods for this week's Naturalist Notebook. All right, we're back. We got boiling water. What happens next, Miss Nikki? This is just exactly like the dandelion jelly, except we're using red buds. Mm -hmm. And I like this one better because red buds are easier to pick and I didn't have to cut them. We just... Now look, look at the violet. And you know, it depends on, you know, we got more purplish violets. Some right. of them are more blue, but that's almost that's the same violet color. Jelly. And here's the dandelion, which, oh, yum. And here's the red bud. And each one of them has their own subtle they do. flavor. They do. All right, we're going to start with two cups of water, mm -hmm. bring it to boil. We're going to put in one cup of whatever you're using, red buds. If we were doing violets, it would be violets, exact same, but we're doing red buds. We're going to pour that in and let that boil for three minutes. Once it's boiled for three minutes, we're going to drain it just like we did the dandelions and squeeze down and get... Strain it. Yeah, strain it down and get three quarters of a cup of juice. We're mm -hmm. going to take that, put it back in the pan. We're going to add three teaspoons of the sure gel to it, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit in here. And then we're going to sprinkle, put in a little bit of the vanilla. We just kind of shake in a couple sh shots of that. Get that boiling. Once it's boiling, we're going to add our cup and a half of sugar, boil three minutes, and we got jelly again. That's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. That's really simple. You know what it tastes like? Kelly just said cotton candy. It has a cotton it candy taste it almost. It's really good. Yes, it is. So this will make us four little jars. Somebody asked last week, if you only have three quarters of a cup of liquid, how in the world do you come up with 16 ounces? Well, the main ingredient in this really healthy deal is sugar. A cup and a half sugar. Added Don't to that. forget the sugar yes. and a little bit of pectin. And there we have it. It's that simple. We'll now it's going to set up. We're going to pop it in the refrigerator and then we're going to enjoy some in just a little while. All right, so I'm going to cut up just a little bit of ginger here. I'm gonna take a little bit of oil, not a lot. When this gets nice and hot, we're gonna take two cloves of garlic and we're gonna pop in this oil and we're just gonna get that flavor in there. Then we're gonna pull that garlic out, we're gonna throw it away. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna pop our ginger in here. That smells good. But we're not pulling the ginger out, the ginger stays. So now, Mrs. Farmer, in comes the beef. <laughs> now, what am I gonna do? Make it hot. Just it a little, little bit. bit of red pepper flakes. Just to, just to have that nice... You like your red pepper flakes. Oh man, you do too. I do. You just don't like too As many, many as you do. I don't like as many as you. <laughs> just a little more oyster sauce. That stuff's good. Just a little bit. And a little more sesame oil. I like sesame oil. Oh. You can add all that. <laughs> Got a great smell. Look at that. Look how it's crisping up. Oh, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. You know what, Mrs. Farmer? What? Keep an eye on that for a minute. I'll do it. I gotta get my broccoli ready. And I'm gonna need some red pepper. I'm gonna just put just a little bit of onion in this. That sounds this good. is a yellow sweet onion. So look what we got here. Look how that looks. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Got just a little bit of pink left in there. But look how it's browned on the outside. That's nice. Oh my. See what we got going? I like oh, it. Beautiful. Very beautiful. So what's next, Mrs. Farmer? Peppers. Peppers. Broccoli. broccoli. And some onions. Couple onions. I'm just gonna mix that all up. Try to get our broccoli cooked in there.
and boom, there you go. We had beef, mm -hmm. we had broccoli, but since we had all those other sauces that we always keep around oh, here, yeah. That's delicious. look what we can make in, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, that was quick. It's up to you, Mrs. Farmer. I get to try some. Mm -hmm. Let me put a little meat with some rice. That's a beautiful one pot dish, boom. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Very good. That makes me happy. Very delicious. That's really good. We got a little heat. That's really good. Delicious, as always. Look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the grand baby. <laughs> But they're kind of all grown up, and it's very scary because I don't want them to be all big and stuff. Yeah, guys, what's up? How old are you now? <laughs> Thirteen. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be driving in three years. How old are you, Taryn? Seven. Jiminy wow. Christmas, I'm only twelve. I'm thirteen <laughs> myself. <laughs> thirteen plus twenty-seven. That's not nice. <laughs> all right, Grandma's been talking about making pretzels. Mm -hmm. We have also been to Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, which is rich in German heritage. So now, everything I do, I want to know the history of it. Quit looking. You're cheating. What does anybody know about pretzels? Where did they begin? There's a story. With dough. Italy. Did you say with dough? That's right, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right too. All right, I'm reading from the History Channel. It's called Hungry History, the pretzel, a twisted history though the exact origins remain mysterious. <laughs> so it's a mystery. Legend has it that the story began around 610 AD. Wow. When Italian, you, you saw that, didn't you? Yes. When Italian monks presented their young students with treats of baked dough twisted in the shape of crossed arms. Back in the day, when people prayed, instead of putting their hands together, they crossed their arms. Now, the first pretzels were soft, squishy bread. Later, they became they made them harder and like the chewy stuff you get today. But we still all like to go to the fair in different places and get the big soft pretzel and dip yeah. it and stuff, right? Later, the Germans derived the word bretzel. Bretzel? Bretzel. Which sounds a lot like... Pretzel. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I noticed that Grandma did was she got up and got some hot water, mm -hmm. which I'm sure that has to do something with the yeast. Right. Am I correct? One and one fourth cups. One and one fourth cups. Oh. Mm -hmm. Of water, hot water. Then what do you do? You sprinkle the yeast on top. One package of, of the yeast. Of the water? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you stir it in and let it sit for five minutes. So she's going to stir that up. Okay, so we're going to add one tablespoon of brown sugar and one and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Salt. So add, next we add two cups of flour and then you beat with a wooden spoon for a hundred strokes. All right. Now how many times you got to stir that? She got to stir it a hundred times, exactly. Two, two, two five, seven, seven eight, eight, twelve, nine, four, ten, nine, eleven, nine, three, <laughs> two, seventy-five, hundred, fifteen, twenty-nine, thirty-five, thirty-six, sixty-five, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-six, fifty-three, forty-seven, twenty-six, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, for
Look at what happened. Is that not nice. amazing? And we let that go a little more in an hour, so that's why it looks so look at, wonderful. Look how beautiful. Oh, you can touch it. Oh, How's it look pretty good? Oh. Isn't that amazing? And this is going to make. That's much needed. Isn't that though. nice? Six pretzels. So what we're going to do, let's just do, we'll do three and one. you act like you've done this before. Eh, I'm a professional pretzel person. So here's what I did. This we Here's our three. Now what we have to do here that's kind of difficult, and I, I'll do this part for us. We have to roll this, make it, let's make it 30 inches long. I'm Dumbfounded by the, the amazement that's going on in front of me. Does that kind of look like a pretzel? What do you think? It does look like a pretzel. Is it like a pretzel? Yeah. Is that right, Grandma? Yeah, bring it back over the pretzel there. <laughs> hmm. well, I just hey, I right. like it, I like it. We could start a whole new company called Really Ugly Pretzels. <laughs> Like that's it. that's really kind of cute. Nice. <laughs> All right, turn, start. I like it. Remember, shape it and then twist it. Turn it a couple times and then bring it back over here. Ta da! That Hers looks pretty cute. That's pretty cute. What do you think, Pops? It's close Hers enough. This is pretty good. Okay, can you throw it on the pan here? And we need to make a couple more. All right, what we're going to do next, I got a quarter, about a quarter cup of hot water here and some sugar in this. You'll be the salt person. Salt will go yep. on top of that. I'll be the salt and sugar and cinnamon. Okay, now we're going to let these sit for like 10 minutes so they can rise a little bit. And then we're going to cook them at 425 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, we got, <laughs> look, this one, this one almost looks like a pretzel. That's Some fine. of the other ones, they're kind of in the shape that I saw in the field with Moses the other day. <laughs> if they're a little bit darker. Let's call these duty pretzels. <laughs> You know what I think? Pretty good. I think it's really good. Let me try yours. Love it. That's mine. You made pretzels, sort of. Yeah. Sort of. You sort of made pretzels. They're good. It has its own unique flavor. It's, it's not like the dandelion jelly. No, it's not. The kids would like this. It's like cotton candy. We put a little, and I thought this might be a good way. This is the way Lisa. No, we don't have any brie, so we're, we're doing a Cream poor, poor man's brie. But this makes it even better, so we'll put a little cream cheese. This is our dessert. So we're just That's kinda... a good dessert. We're, we're kind of being healthy with the pretzel. Now that jelly's a little hot because it was sitting next to the stove while we're cooking, so it's a little runny. But yeah. look, ooh, I'm going to make a sandwich here, Mr. Farmer. Look at that. Mmm! 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 <laughs> I could just eat. Mmm, that's good. And with the salty pretzel, that's perfect. That's a perfect appetizer. That's going to be a gooey mess, and I love it. Yes, it is. So, Mrs. Farmer, one half an hour has zoomed by. We yes, had a wonderful is. dinner. We let the girls out. That's right. They ate some grass. I'm going to have to mow tomorrow. You know, you have more me. boys and girls now with all those babies. That's true. The girls and the boys. We had a good day. We did. Sun was out, but alas, it's over. <laughs> so if somebody's looking at all these recipes and think, how can I get those recipes? Mrs. Farmer, is there any way for them to get there those? There is. You go to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. And we have all kinds of stuff there. How-tos, so on and so That's forth. Right. Wonderful recipes. Of just about everything. Oh, we, have, yeah. what, we have 200 gazillion or 400 gazillion recipes? Uh, 500 gazillion. Wow. There's a lot. lot. <laughs> Facebook. We do have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We want you to be there with us, that's but right. it's really hard to get on. What do you have that to do? It is hard. You hit like. That's it. Yes. Difficult. So, Ms. Farmer, we're going to have to wrap this up. But it's all about <sighs> good times, good friends, and good eat. We'll see you next week on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Hmm. To order a cookbook, email timfarmerck at gmail.com.